YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, B Naced, here to bring you four changes that player career needs in FIFA 17. Thanks for checking out the channel, y'all. Before I get into the video, we are on the drive to 50 subscribers, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If you have, share that video. Also, follow me on Twitter at BNACEYT, Facebook and Instagram. It is BNACE. Let's get into this list. Coming in at number four, I think that they should start player career mode with a kind of a tryout. Let you test your skills, showcase how good you are, you know, run through some drills maybe so you can get your starting stats and maybe your potential. So that way, you know, you play well and teams that need a player at your position or need a player at your position in the future can give you offers based on your performance. And they could even give you, tell you the plan. So if you, you know, you play well, but your overall is not that great and Juventus gives you an offer and they say, hey, we want to bring you on as the future replacement for Iguain and Manzukic, but you can't play yet. So we're going to loan you out for one or two seasons until you can get good enough to be in the first team until a spot opens up. Or if a smaller team comes to you and they say, hey, we think you're great. We need you on our team now. We want you to come in, be the star, get all sorts of first team minutes. You know, let you know that in advance so you know what to expect. That would be, I think, excellent. So that way you're not kind of shoehorned in or anything like that to the lineup. Coming in number three. They need to give you some physicals training. It, it's, you know, you can improve technical stats in training, but why not speed, strength, et cetera? They could have like a weightlifting mini game or sprint drills because you can lift up all of your other statistics through training, but you still have to grind to get things like speed and stamina and strength up within the game. The old fashioned way of leveling up your player statistics. Number two. They should give you an overview of the team tactics so you know beforehand how the team plays. Is the team play a high defensive line? Are you supposed to pressure the dribbler? How close should you be to your other teammates for passes? Those kinds of things. A quick overview of the, the custom tactics based on your team would be great because it'll allow you to blend in with your team and you'd probably show better form because you're playing the kind of football that the team expects. Finally, y'all, number one, let you be a sub. It's crazy that you only are ever a starter or you're not even in the team at all. It would add a little bit of authenticity if the game would allow you to be on the subs bench and maybe throw you in at the 60th minute for that little authenticity you can get subbed in or they just sim straight through the game. The game plays out realistically instead of the way that sims happen randomly. You know, game plays out regularly and, you know, you just go through the game. It's quick, but you had a chance to get subbed in and things just didn't go well. That'd be more realistic, more authentic in my opinion. So, y'all, that is my take on four things that player career needs in FIFA 17. Let me know in the comments what you think they should add in FIFA 17. Thank y'all for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. We're trying to get the video up to 10 likes. Also, we're on the drive to 50 subscribers. So go ahead and hit the red button. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at BNACEDYT. Facebook and Instagram, it is BNACED. Thank you all for watching. I will see you soon.